Hello YouTube, today I'm going to be making a tutorial on how to program your TI-84 Plus or TI-84 or 83. All of them pretty much program the same. But um, at the end of this tutorial, you'll be able to print simple characters on the screen. And you will be able to do a few other cool things like setting variables and adding. So first of all, you're going to want to click on this program button. Then you're going to want to go over to new, create new. Name it whatever you want. I'm going to name it tutorial. Just T U T. And then it comes out with this programming layout with the first line and a blinking cursor. To find all the commands, you're going to want to click program again. This will bring up a bunch of different commands that you can use in, in the program. To display some text on the screen, you're going to want to go over to IO and then scroll down to disk, or you can click 3. Then you're going to want to enter what you want to disk or display which is what it stands for on the screen and I'm gonna do hello world and to make it so that it's always doing the letters you can press second alpha so H E L L O space world where's the R? There you are. hello world and if you want to if you want an exclamation mark you can head over to oops you can head over to math Probability and then four. And then you're going to want to quit out of the program. It automatically saves. Then you see this shows up in the execution menu. You're going to want to execute it. Then hit enter. And it says hello world. And then the program finishes because we didn't tell it to do anything else or to keep repeating saying that. So, you see, when we print this, we still have the program tutorial up here and done over here, which doesn't look that pretty. So, we're going to fix that. So, go back to program, edit, tutorial, and then before, before display, you can press second delete to insert a new line. Before display, you're going to want to click program, IO, clear home. So now, let's try this out. So we have program, tutorial. Now it clears the screen before it prints that, just to make it look prettier. So, um, you know, that's pretty much the basics of display. You can display one word, you can display numbers, but numbers will, numbers are weird. They display on one side, on the right side of the screen. So say I want to display five. Execute this. See, it displays it on the right side of the screen. So if you're doing anything like score, um, colon, and then a number, the score will be off to the right, which can be kind of annoying sometimes, but it works. So that's the basics of the display statement. Okay. So now I'm going to show you how to set different variables. This will be handy later. So a variable, say, is one like list 1, list 2, and list 3 when you use back in algebra if you've done algebra yet. And so if you want to list, well of course list has can store many numbers of variables but I'll go into that later. So say we want to store 1 to A. So I'm going to go 1 stored to A. Hit enter and it'll give me 1. Now when I type A again it'll show me that a is equal to 1. So let's set b to 2. So I put the number 2 into b. Now it shows me 2. And when I do b, I get 2. Now you can add two variables together and store it to a new variable. So I'm going to go a, the value of a plus the value of b, store that to c. So since A was 1 and B was 2, 1 plus 2 is 3. So it's going to give me 3. And then when I call on C, it gives me 3. Um, the only thing you can't store to variables, which I've found very annoying before, is that you cannot um, store strings. Like you could not store your name. You could not store just a phrase. Um, so that's annoying. Uh, and you can't really get around that. You can't really manipulate text in programs. Um, you can just do that with numbers if you would ever need to. So that's pretty basic. 
Um, and that's gonna be it for this tutorial. In this tutorial, we learned how to display text on the screen and store variables to numbers. Um, look at the next tutorial, which will be coming out very soon, for more information on the programming layout and where you can find everything.